the income inequality gap is increasing they are looking for reasons to further increase their wealth i need south africans to not forget what happens to palestine because we are next if you are a south african and you are aware of the genocide that is occurring in israel against the palestinian people do you think that we can stay complacent and we can still think about our own comfort. The same Israel that was funded by the US, which also funded our South African apartheid government. The same Israel that has allowed members of its special forces to train white farmers against farm attacks. White farmers in South Africa believe they are being targeted for being white. I went to an Afrikaans high school for the whole five years and in that five years the most important crisis to them was the farm attacks. They did not look at our oppression as black people, they did not look at apartheid as the crime against humanity. They believe that the farm attacks are what is a crime against their humanity. I went to the school from 2016 to 2020 and they were preparing since then as if they're going to be fighting against the military. We as South Africans don't even have weapons, we don't carry arms, we don't have any sort of physical defense training or self-defense training. We've been training their children, their children. I saw the way that these people think about black people and they don't like us, they hate us, they don't believe that they should share space with us, even though they came to colonize our country. They have money, they have land, they have training, and they have people who can unite for a single cause if they believe it's that important. They don't care whether the farm attacks are truly against white people. They have enough justification to believe that the people are waking up and they want to retaliate, and they're going to defend themselves if they need to. But what defending themselves looks like is orchestrating a threat so that they can justify their violence. We've seen this time and time again. They've been the ones to cause tribalism between us and then blame us for not being united. They are the ones that caused poverty within us and then blamed us for not being able to work and have jobs. They're the ones that created this poverty and blame us for using PEE so that we can uplift our community. They will use anything that they can find to justify violence towards us because they have been doing this since they got here. The income inequality gap is increasing. They are looking for reasons to further increase their wealth. I need South Africans to not forget what happens to Palestine because we are next. All of the parties in South Africa that are running for the next election that appeal to white South Africans are using white farm murders to justify their reason to be in parliament. Why do you guys think that is? Especially because Afrikaans people call themselves boers, boer which means farmer. We saw how they reacted to Julius Malema when he sang the song kill the bull that is their justification for whatever comes afterwards because they believe they are under attack guys i am so petrified because who knows if they're just waiting for a opportunity to strike who knows who knows if they just don't care about whether the elections happen or not because we are still so many months away from the elections and they are already using this to justify the way that they are behaving destructively we think these people are just being silly and they are just being delusional it doesn't matter because they still have power and they believe in their own delusions i feel helpless and I feel very powerless and I understand if everybody else feels this way but we can't act like we don't have power and we can't act like we can't do anything. We are lucky enough as South Africans to see these signs and to see everything unfold and we can do something before it becomes too violent. These people want to secure their economic wealth so we need to disrupt that we need to disrupt the system of capitalism that is working in their favor we can't keep thinking about our comfort and we can't just ignore what's happening in palestine because we are next we are next the u.s funded what israel was doing who's to say they won't fund south african white citizens 
there are enough people who experience the south african apartheid to know that if they get funded what will happen to us will be so much worse than we can ever imagine we as south africans are fortunate enough to pay attention to the signs before they happen and we have enough power in our present time to do something about it the palestinian people had no opportunity to survive what happened to them they were told to move from the north of gaza to the south so that the israeli government and military had an opportunity to attack people who were fleeing for safety they told those people to leave the north of Gaza because they were going to bomb the place and then they continued to bomb and attack the people who were trying to flee. Those people had no opportunities to save themselves and the rest of the world watched. The rest of the world watched because they were afraid. They are afraid that Israel is going to turn and do the same thing to them and they will. Governments all across the globe knew that even if they were to help the Palestinian people, the Israelis would not let them be helped. Who's to say South Africans aren't going to go through the same thing? How much of our economy is controlled by these white South Africans? How much of our government is lobbying with these white South Africans? People like me all over the globe who use their platforms to educate are feeling frustrated. We feel frustrated because people around us don't listen. That's why we use social media and now people are still not listening. We cannot center our comfort and our ignorance in this time. No matter how powerless and helpless we feel, we have to make sure that the people in South Africa remember Palestine and that their history is remembered so that they don't go down. They don't go down in history as people that will be forgotten. They try to do the same thing with the queer clan people and we've forgotten the queer clan people who were known as the Khoi San. The queer clan people had been fighting the, the European settlers since their arrival and they were decimated by disease that the Europeans brought to Africa. Now they exist as a marginalized class of people and South Africans refuse to acknowledge them as the first humans that existed in Southern Africa. In 2018, Donald Trump told the United States citizens that there is a seizure of land happening to white South African farmers. And he lied to them. He lied to the public of the United States, making them believe that we are at war with white South Africans is in the running for their 2024 elections again and he is dominating he is the one that is making u.s citizens believe that there is a war against south african white the same way that the u.s will not back down from supporting israel is the same way that they won't back down from supporting white south africans who believe in the white farm attacks Please listen to me. I don't know what to do. I am just a person. I am not a martyr. The fate of our future depends on all of us waking up and knowing how to resist. We have to make sure that these white South Africans know that we don't believe what they're saying and we know what actually is their agenda. They are strategizing towards a genocide in South Africa so that they can accumulate the land that they could not get. This is still a quest for them to accumulate land and economic power. We need to tell them that we know it's not about the farm attacks. They want to kill us. They want to push for a race war. Whether we like it or not, this is what's on their agenda. The same that is happening in Israel is going to happen to us. We cannot let the people of Palestine be forgotten. We are in solidarity with them and their history will remain as people who are fighting their oppressor. This is not a time to think about being comfortable. This is not a time to think about a future where we're not united because you're not going to be saved if you keep thinking about a future where you are successful and nobody else is. You are not going to be saved. Nobody is going to come to save you because that future that you want where you're successful is not guaranteed to you, especially within a capitalist white supremacist system. Let go of an idea of comfort that is rooted in the ignorance of oppression of people. If you are a marginalized person, there is no time for you to be comfortable because you are going to be next. Let go of this system. 
no one is coming to save you nobody saved the palestinians they are going down in history as people who are fighting against their oppressor let go and get ready to resist the revolution will not be televised free palestine from the river to the sea the apartheid government of south africa like the nazi government of germany has made its racist policy clear to the world and i quote we want to make south africa white keeping it white white can only mean one thing namely white domination not leadership not guidance but control and supremacy we charge that the ANC's presidents and its calories have been loyal to white liberals and black people's oppressors hence the ownership patterns in the economy are tilted towards whites. Not much has changed in terms of ownership since communal apartheid era. South Africa is still owned by white supremacists even if we were in the democratic country. That means there had been few opportunities in the past 25 years for black people to actually realize their dreams of owning a sizable portion in the South African economy. Those who have access to mainstream economy can only do that as long as they are salaried, which means they are 30 days away from poverty. Actually, Africans are still slaves in their own land. White supremacists own everything, land, mines, banks, factories, shopping centers, malls, industries, farms, and many private companies. University and school management is still dominated by the liberal Eurocentric views of the oppressors. Africans do not own the land and mines and factories, even their own opinions must be approved by the oppressors. This is for those who believe in their joke, which they call democracy. Keep in mind as a black South African that apartheid ended because apartheid could no longer sustain apartheid. Bank loans to South African companies were banned as well as imports of coal, iron, steel and uranium from the country. We all know that when it comes to resources, whether it's human capital or it's actual gold, white people do not play with those things. They were no longer making money from apartheid and they could no longer maintain apartheid in South Africa. If you actually read books, they tell you that white people do not do leadership. It's all about control and supremacy. And everything that is happening, it is designed to uphold their standards. This, this is just to remind black people to not get into white people's spaces because they don't need us there. Yeah, like when you blame black people for the corruption that we inherited from whites. This is what happens when we don't actually rule the country. We get instructions from how we should control the country. And then we ask the next question, is that really a democracy in that sense? Didn't we try? Didn't we try as black people, despite everything they've done to us? We took the path of forgiveness and reconciling with the people who traumatized us. We wanted to live with them despite everything they've done. To this day, they do not acknowledge what they've done to us as a crime against humanity. The longer we keep on tiptoeing around our liberation in this country, the more they will treat us worse than dogs, reminding us of our place. Keep in mind that they were never sorry about what they did in the first place. We just forced it upon them. We forced this democracy upon them, which they did not want in the first place. According to them, apartheid was the most beautiful thing they've ever created. Just so you know, that we don't own any land in this country. That means that they can do what they want, implement how they want, and treat us how they want. And no, this is not even trying to scare you. It is trying to remind you of the chaos that we exist in. We cannot afford to live in this country. Therefore, we do not have a right to even tell foreigners to go because we don't own the land in the first place. Thing is, what is happening to Palestine is so serious that it can happen to any of us at any moment. Reminding us that we are all connected when it comes to the system. That it is so oppressive that even your class as a black person won't save you from racism and misogyny. And this is not just for you, it's for those that feel that they fear that it will kill us on chaos because they're not aware 
in the world that they live in, there are still the same people who came with an agenda 100 years ago while we were lending a hand, while we tried to live with them as one. Afri Forum is trying to complete what their ancestors started. They are pushing an agenda that people should invest in. Afri Forum brings further international attention to hate speech and discrimination against the minorities in South Africa at United Nations. Look at that. Just look at that. They do the discriminating and do the hate speech. And then they present themselves to Westerners as the victims. And I'm tired of these people. I'm so tired of them. I'm taking control of my life. And this is my ancestral land. This is my home. And if we're not careful, we will be next like the Palestinians. We already have foreigners, Zamazamas, from other African nations whom they exploited. Mind you, by the way, the very same countries whom are working here illegally to work, they are still owing apartheid debts. To this day, they cannot afford to pay them back because they were trying to protect themselves and fight against apartheid because they can just replace us because they don't need us. They have enough labor across Africa to exploit. They don't need us. They can just discard us. That's how serious this thing is. Chaos lives around us. These people are bankrupting our economy because of the billions that keeps on being made illegally in this country. We pay tax. They own mines which they left and they're saying ANC, A ANC, e -E. you own the mines, brah. You own the mines. The mines are yours. The people are working in your mines. They're causing the safety of the people in the West End. It's something that is happening now. As long as we keep on tiptoeing around our liberation, we will always have these problems. Always. This comment clearly shows me that you already know the solution. However, you need help implementing it because of that internal conflict that you have within yourself. Don't worry, I'm here to clarify it for you. We as Black South Africans, next year we need to pretend as though it is 1994. Come out in numbers and vote for a political party that amplifies our voice, that talks about the issues that we face post-apartheid. That breaks down our economic state and true actual corrupt white settlers who found a way to get into our democratic country and implement an apartheid system. Secondly, you can never get tired of talking ever because the minute you get tired, they will tell their vision of the story. Whites never get tired of destruction.